Scuba, are you getting ready for a snowball fight? Oh, no, I'm not. Well, it must be a snow fort. No, it's not. Really? All those snowballs? Yep. I'm getting ready for a bath. A bath? With snowballs? Oh, yeah, that's my soap. Your soap? Well, I didn't know seals use snow to get themselves clean, but it makes sense because, you know, there's a verse in the Bible in Psalms 51, verse 7. It says, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. What? That's really white. I thought I was white, but look at the color of the snow. Yeah, the snow's even whiter than you. Yeah, how can you be whiter than snow? Well, that means... You're not really just clean, but you have a clean slate. What does that mean? In other words, it's just like you've never done anything wrong. What? Yeah. See, we clean ourselves on the outside all the time. Yeah, because I don't want to look dirty. No. And I don't want to be smelly. Well, of course not. We wouldn't want you to be smelly. And I want to be healthy. That's right. That's another reason we clean ourselves. Yeah. So, what were you saying about washing? I was saying that we need to be washed on the inside. Do you want a snowball? <laughs> you want me to eat a snowball? Yeah, to clean you out. No. No. We don't use snow to clean us out. You said wash me and I'll be whiter than snow. And But that's not how we wash ourselves on the inside, and it's not with soap either. It's not? <clears throat> no. Shampoo? No, not shampoo either. You know, the Bible tells us, 1 John 1, 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, inside us, it's dirty. It is? Open your mouth. Why? Just open your mouth. I don't see dirt. <laughs> That's not really what it means. In other words, inside, in God's sight, we look dirty, filthy. We have sin. That's the wrong stuff we do, the wrong things we think, say, and do. And you know, one day Jesus was with his disciples, his friends, and they were going through a field. Matthew 15 tells us this story, and his disciples were hungry, so they took grain in their hands and they ate it. And the religious leaders got all upset because they hadn't washed their hands before they ate. But Jesus said, you know, man is not defiled or made unclean by what he puts in his mouth, but it's what comes out of his mouth. In other words, when we lie and we curse and we scream and yell at people, we say unkind words, all those things come from a heart that is dirty, that is sinful. So how do you get it clean? Well, we need to wash our hearts. Ask Jesus to wash our hearts. Just like I read in 1 John 1, 9. We confess our sins. We tell Jesus we're sorry for what we've done. And the Bible tells us he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all the wrong that we've done. Yeah, so we don't have to eat snow. No, we don't. But we can wash in it. Yeah, it would be a pretty cold bath, though. Well, boys and girls, I hope you're washed on the inside. You know, we could wash our bodies on the outside every day if we wanted to, but that doesn't make us clean on the inside. Only God can do that. Why don't you let him wash you? Ask him to make you clean on the inside and have a clean heart, whiter than snow. Yeah, I want a heart like that. <laughs> well, thanks for listening, boys and girls, and I'll see you next week. Bye, boys and girls, and don't forget to take a snowball there. <laughs>